Okay, here's my rock garden at our community center. You can see I got a pretty decent assortment of my succulents and flowers. Now, forgive me. Let me walk around here. It's probably going to be a little shaky. But you can see we got a lot of the different succulents. The little elfin thyme over there has some dark spots in the center. And I've been working on rocking it in, getting it looking real good. But a few tufa pots here and there. But you can see how. Everything looks really, really good on this end. My problem is, on this end was planted the, I guess it's more the culinary thyme. The kind that grows rampant. And it is just all over the place. It's taken over the garden. You can't even see the little hens and chicks, the succulents down in there. And I am just curious if anybody has any solution for what I can do. I have pulled and pulled and pulled to get this out until I'm blue in the face and I can't get it out. So let me know if you have any fresh ideas for me to try out. There is some um, creeping flocks there in the middle. I want to keep that. But you can see where the thyme is just starting to bloom. It's getting down in here. And I keep pulling out little sprigs all along the rest of the garden. I've got to get rid of it before it takes over. So let me know what you think I might be able to do. So that I can have a rock garden like it's supposed to be. Let me kind of step back and try to give you a pan shot. This L is fine. That L shape down there, oops, sorry, it's hidden by the picnic table, is just all time. A couple big hypertufa pots here. Another one over there. But help me to figure out what I can do. I don't want a rock garden that's just full of time. Here's the end of the garden that had all the time in it and I have finished pulling as much as I can this morning without getting completely exhausted. Added a few rocks so it is an improvement since getting a shine on it this early in the morning but Kind of bare on this end but I got a lot of rock put a lot of little starts of the hens and chicks and some of the succulents I think I'm gonna remove all this because I can't get in there to where all the time is embedded into the iris so we'll get rid of that too and that's it